Turning an old Starbucks cup into a new Starbucks cup, it's not a magic trick. There's a systematic and scientific method behind transforming paper waste into food-grade fiber, into new products and reusable possibilities. Every year in the United States, an estimated 60 billion single-use coffee cups, many of which could have been recycled, wind up in landfills for two main reasons. First, collection systems to capture paper cups across North America are inconsistent, and many sorting centers lack the resources needed to extract cups from the waste stream. Second, recycling mills need specialized equipment to efficiently remove and separate the interior polyethylene plastic liner of paper coffee cups and access the fiber in the paper. This liner keeps liquids from seeping through the paper and leaving behind a hot mess. At Starbucks, so much care and attention has gone into the sourcing of our coffee and the roasting of that coffee and the brewing of that coffee and the handover of that coffee in a cup from barista to customer. It's about that cup now. Sustana's Recycled Fibers facility has invested in machinery to recycle Starbucks coffee cups efficiently, effectively, and at scale by separating their interior plastic liners. In early 2018, four supply chain partners came together to demonstrate that cups could be recycled and turned into new cups. They included Sustana, in conjunction with West Rock's paper mill, and SATA Packaging's converting facility, recycling 18 truckloads of old Starbucks cups into new Starbucks cups, a test case for sustainable manufacturing. Supply chain partners working together to close the loop, contributing to the development of a circular economy. The ultimate vision of the Starbucks Sustainable Partnership is to provide a full closed loop zero waste solution. That means you drink your Starbucks coffee from a cup made with fiber that was manufactured using prior Starbucks cups. Westrock makes cup stock, which is the paperboard that goes into the cups themselves. And we make it at our Evadale, Texas mill. And we incorporate post-consumer recycled fiber from Sustana into that paperboard. And then it ships to SATA, who converts it into cups for Starbucks. We've been working together for many years to advance the potential to recycle cups. It's so great to be able to demonstrate its viability. So how does the cup-to-cup -cup collaboration process work? Once Starbucks cups are collected by recycling trucks and brought to Sustana's recycled fibers facility, they are mixed with water and go through a high-consistency pulping process where cups are ground into a pulp by a seven-foot-tall corkscrew rotor. Sustana's high-consistency pulping equipment is where the plastic liners begin to separate from the cups. The fibers are then screened and washed to remove impurities and ink and to separate the interior plastic lining. Next, the fibers are thickened in a dewatering process and cut into sheets, which are baled and transported to West Rock's paper mill to be processed and formed into large rolls of cup stock, which is the paperboard that goes into Starbucks cups. These large rolls of cup stock are then sent to SATA's converting facility, where printing cylinders lay an image onto the paper. A rotary die cuts the paper into what's called a flat, and flats are loaded into the cup machine, formed into cups, and sent to Starbucks as new cups, made using recycled fiber from old Starbucks cups. The iconic Starbucks cup, it holds more than just well-crafted coffee, it holds the proof and potential of how powerful post-consumer recycling can be. Every component of this circular loop is being successfully executed. And that's what's really exciting to see, is that if we can pull off this execution seamlessly and we can repeat it each and every time, we're solving this problem of landfill and pollution um, and all this waste that's really degrading the environment.